Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS and MySQL CRUD tutorial for beginners. In the last episode, we implemented the search functionality, which is basically an extension of read functionality, but with a different variation. I hope you have uh, completed that activity as well. Today we are going to learn about update functionality. Let's get started. If you haven't seen the first five parts, I'll request you to kindly do so because all the code that we are doing is related and incremental. It would only help you master the CRUD functionality end to end. Today we are learning about updating existing records, which will basically be a put call. So when you say CRUD, create, read, update and delete. Today we are implementing the update. Updates are always put APIs. So we basically query to find a matching record and then update that particular record. Finally, we will also do the sending the response back and doing some error handling. Let's get started with coding. All right, so we had implemented the search, read and post, right? So today we are going to work on our update code API. So update are always put calls. Now here we'll pass the URL that we want. So I'm going to say ticket slash update. Okay, so it's a good idea to always have a unique one. And since we can, what we can do is we can just do a ID because we will be getting an ID that we want to update. Okay. And then as usual, we will make it an async call. We will have the request and response call back and close this here. Since it's uh, async, we we'll should always write try catch, catch the error. And what we should do is send the response with status code as 500 that is failed. And we will send the response, JSON response, and we will say error and we are going to say fail to update the ticket. All right, so this is the error handling if it fails. Now for the update part, the, there are two things that we need to do. First, capture the ID of the ticket that we want to update. So we will get that from request.params.id because here we are mentioning ID. The next thing we'll do is to capture the actual body response that we want to update on. So we are going to say description and active. These are the fields that we had defined and that we will get it from request.body. So this is collect data, data to process. And here we are going to build our query and then execute it. So to build our query, we are going to say constant SQL. So the query that is used for updating is update table set column values. That's the uh, uh, syntax for the SQL query. So we are going to say update tickets table and we are going to set title. That is the title equal to question mark comma followed by the next column name which is description followed by the value which is question mark because we are updating it in our query promise method and we are going to say condition will say where id is equal to again question because we are going to pass it as a values and what are the values that we just collected here? These are the values. Again, you can add the conditions to validate and check if the data was there, whether it is empty, etc., etc. The same routine will follow. Now, here you're going to execute it and say const results equal to await query promise. And the first is the SQL and then followed by the values, right? So you can pass the values here in the array. So same description and active. Okay. So now this will give you the result back. 
here we can do the condition check and say if result dot affected rows now affected rows is nothing but it's a inbuilt one if the call if the row was affected that means it was updated if it was not that means it was not updated so we are going to say send 404 if it was not updated and JSON data and here we are going to say error and say unable to find matching ticket okay that means nothing was updated else that means it was updated that means result.json and the status will be 200 because okay and you would give back the value okay status.json and we'll pass the id the, it's the same id that we had retrieved and we'll pass the new data description and active that's all we need to do is to in order to handle it okay so what we are doing we are collecting the id first then we are collecting the data from the body that was sent to update the ticket we are building the query and we are using our method which we implemented which is query promise which will take SQL and the values in an array format and it would get the result and check if there were any affected rows if zero send back 404 if not send the 200 status with the data that's all we need for executing the put API that is updating a ticket all right so let's go ahead and run this node text. so database started now here it's a put call because it's an update and we are going to pass an ID and say 2 and here say updating second record okay so I've updated the title and details now let's send that details it says not found okay so it's saying not found let's see why if there was anything that triggered that okay he headers already sent is the error I'm getting see cannot set headers once it is already sent okay so, okay so we are going to fix that and let's see where were the head headers sent okay so here it is the problem because we said send it is not send it is status that was a typo so let's see again let's run it again now it started successfully go to the again put call the URL is ticket slash ID and the details are in the body send it says unable to find matching text okay so now it is saying unable to find matching ticket so it's coming here now let's see why that would have caused since we already gave where ID is equal to so we are setting the title and description where ID let's check the database table once ID title description okay and active and is it because this is mandatory I guess so okay so I'm going to do that and add that column also all right so now I added one more column so we can add that condition and change it basically if you want it to be optional it says fail to update the ticket so now it's going into the error and we would want to see what is the error so do a console log and hit it again and it says you have an error uh, updating second record so it says active is null okay and that's why it's failing because it doesn't take the null value so if it's null um, we are going to make it one or let's capture that details here and pass it to active are we passing the oh that's the problem so see it's capital A so it's not getting this active okay 
so that was the problem and I'll put it back to true and that should be all let's run it so typos are the ones that cause problems so here it's now taking value and those are correct but let's check what else is causing that it's near it says connected successfully there is an error and the error detail says you have a SQL update so the best way is take it here and execute it whereas the ID so see we are not passing the ID so that's the problem so sometimes just passing data is the real culprit it is still failing so now we can see that this is the query that is executing so copy that and go to your database and run and see what is exactly causing that problem so it says incorrect integer value for true or false right so if it's true it's one because it's a tiny int so let's send it now and it updated the record okay so if it's active it is one if it is not active it is zero so that's how you implement the put call which is basically uh, the update method all you do is collect the value build the query set the correct parameters that you want to do ideally in your here you would do a lot of validations uh, to check for empty to check for correct data type etc etc right and then only you execute the query if there is something wrong you throw an error directly and send that response back so that's how uh, you would implement a put call or a put rest endpoint for the CRUD functionality. I hope it's clear since you're a beginner, start only writing the code that I have done, see the output, see the outcome, and then only proceed further. All right, so that's the ideal way to go about it. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I hope it's clear. I hope now you're able to implement the put call as well. And in the next episode, we will learn about the delete functionality. And that would be the last leg of the CRUD operations that we are doing. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I hope you're learning. I hope you're enjoying this series. Join me in the next episode. We will implement the delete functionality. Thank you so much.